Hello and welcome to another episode of Film Valor. We're very excited to announce that next week we'll be releasing a new original short film for you guys, just in time for Valentine's Day. This week we have a guest host, it's Tim Butner. Tim is a professional colorist, cinematographer, and multimedia expert with skills that span various forms of media. Tim is also a contributing writer for the industry site MarketSaw, as well as a selected beta tester for the latest Blackmagic Design cinema camera. His combined experience working with Blackmagic Design as well as DaVinci Resolve make him an excellent host for this week's episode. Here is Tim Butner. More than likely, you are editing in Premiere Pro right now. And as you can see here, there is the Lumetri color panel in order to do color in Premiere Pro. It is suitable for a beginning. I like to use DaVinci Resolve for my grading. And this is because it is a node-based platform with a lot of wonderful tools to grade your image. And as you see as I go through each node here, you can see I do an individual task for each one and build upon what I want for my grade. You can download DaVinci Resolve from the Blackmagic Design website for free or buy the Studio Dongle for $1,000. A control surface is a great way to get physical, tactile control of your color program. Blackmagic Design has a control surface for $30,000 or you can get a control surface from Tangent Devices called the Element for $3,000. The color grading monitor is the most important tool for the colorist and this is because of color accuracy. The ability to calibrate a monitor to have that is key. One of the more popular brands is Flanders Scientific which come with extra tools built into the monitor. They come in various sizes and at various price points based on the specs and extras. The color grading monitor is the most important investment for a professional colorist. Now, let's get into DaVinci Resolve. And this is why colorists around the world love to use it. It is shot matching. And as I work on this shot, I know that I have other shots from this same angle or slightly a close-up or whatever. And what I need to do is match them. So. I use a shot matching tool set in Resolve to allow me to do this. I copy the grade over quickly and easily and then I get a side by side up and I quickly just adjust every bit of levels just to make sure that they match. And then I move on to the second shot and I do the same procedure. And once I copy over to that second take, it then becomes a matter of, well, I want to fine-tune the red on the Doritos bag, and Resolve allows me to select that red and make that fine-tune adjustment. So, now, let's talk about color temperature. Resolve allows you to adjust your color by using the temperature and tint control to dial in your color temperature to correct, or if you choose, you can actually use the wheels to also do it. There's many ways to adjust this. Additionally, for raw footage, you have the ability to actually dial in your color temperature right there in the raw panel. As I adjust this image, you can see that there's a difference between the outside and the inside. And so what am I going to use but a gradient and adjust that color and get it so that it's a little bit more blue. And that's going to match the image up well enough. Now, how about the chip chart? In Resolve, you're able to get that X-Ray chip chart and use it to get the color space that you want to work in. And once you've done that, you can match various cameras and different lenses on the same camera so that the colors look the same. And then you just go about grading your image like normal, adjusting your luminance values, and then after that note, I can do a creative look. Let's finish off with the sunset shot here that allows you to see that I can select my highlights, make fine-tune adjustments there, select my shadows in an outside node, and adjust that. And then I can adjust color and just really dial in my image, and that's why I love Resolve. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this color grading introductory course. We couldn't really cover everything, but Hopefully in the future on Film Valor, we'll be able to go into a lot more detail. For now, thank you and have a good day.